and listener discretion is advised. Welcome back, Diecast Outcast here, episode 41. Today we're going to redo the Paint It Pink challenge that I did back in October. So if you remember back in October, we did the Paint It Pink challenge. It was episode 18, if you want to go back and check. I did two Lincoln Continentals. One was a Hot Wheels Red Line, the other was a Johnny Lightning. I painted the Johnny Lightning with an alcohol ink, and then I took the Hot Wheels and painted it with a Spectre Flame from the uh, Red Line shop. And I was not happy how it turned out. I had a spot come up on the hood, and I lost the glass. This made me pretty upset because I'm the one hosting it. I thought that I should put out a quality piece. The Johnny Lightning turned out good, but this one didn't. And uh, it got a few thumbs down and a lot of views. But today we're going to go back, redo it, and paint it the way it needed to be painted. I actually found out later what shade I really wanted. I wanted a magenta other than this uh, Spectre Flame pink. It, it didn't really cover well and it pulled up in all the little small nooks and crannies. You can see a little spot on the hood. And I did find the glass, so I think this thing is worth taking back apart, throwing it in a stripper, and polishing it up. The base is already cleaned, the interior was already cleaned, uh, has new wheels on it already. So there's not really much to do to that. We're just gonna focus on the paint today. What do you think of this music in the background? I found it on this app and I absolutely love it. I'm a metal guy at heart. So if you watched my previous unboxing video, you found out that I had bought some ink real cheap. So we're going to use that as the magenta and see what happens. But first we're gonna stick the car in the stripper. After spending a couple hours in the stripper, I went and cleaned it with a brass wire brush, went over it with some sandpaper, then an SOS pad, and then went over it with a Brillo pad. And now we're gonna take some mother's polish and give it a shine. About 15, 20 minutes of polishing. This is what it turned out looking like. I was really pleased. And there's that good looking son of a bitch right there. Now we're going to mix up some of the magenta with the printer ink with some 2K urethane clear. I wanted it to saturate pretty well so I put quite a bit in there, probably more than it needed.
couple coats into it, you can see that there was a chemical reaction. So we're gonna have to strip it back down and try something different. Now we're gonna mix uh, the 2K urethane clear with the Magenta India ink instead of the printer ink and see if that is the problem. Well, guess what? We had another chemical reaction. It fish eyed everywhere. I don't know what to do. We're gonna try something else. All right, so this is what I did. I checked the air water separator. I used the new airbrush out of the box. I used new eyedroppers for extracting the clear and the hardener. Cleaned and degreased the bare casting with Dawn dish soap, Comet Murthy surface, and acetone with the new microfiber cloth. And then I did the Magenta India ink with the 2K urethane clear. Son of a bitch, it worked. And it looks beautiful. This was the color I was after in the first place. You can see where I went through the zinc on the top and I opened the hood and put a little small scratch in the hood with the new paint. But I'm gonna leave it as it is because I'm tired of messing with it. So here's a glimpse of what it looked like when we started. Not a really good paint job. Not real happy with that Spectra Flame. I used the other Spectre Flames and they turned out good. I just, I don't know what was going on with this pink. Make sure you subscribe, like, give me a comment. And if you wait till the end, you can see an unboxing video. I got a killer deal on an airbrush and some paint I bought off Facebook Marketplace. So you can check it out and see what I got. You found out what I had when I found it out. And here she is in all of her glory. Red line Lincoln in magenta Yo, I'm real happy how this turned out I'll be using this same color again on other red lines and future builds Speaking of red lines, we have a red line challenge coming up. If you stay tuned till after the unboxing, you'll see the challenge and what you need to get set up with the challenge if you want to join us. There's going to be quite a few people and it's going to be a lot of fun. So come celebrate National Red Line Day with us. Here's a couple flaws where I sanded through the zinc. You can kind of see it there in that picture. Um, the bottom circle and the top circle, you can see where I opened the hood too early. Y'all watch what you're doing. So as I was making this video, Art Lewis, a buddy of mine, sent me this link and it's an airbrush and paint. So I ran up and picked it up. So we're gonna do an unboxing. So I bought all this stuff for 25 bucks. Uh, we got the droppers. I use these quite a bit. Actually, this morning I went and had to go to Walgreens and buy eye droppers because I was out and I didn't see this until hours later, but oh well, no harm, no foul. These things are good for extracting your paint or your clear before you mix it. We've got an airbrush cleaning pot. And we've got an airbrush. It is a, I don't know how to say it, Pache. Uh, it's a better name brand, but it's a cheaper brush. But it looks just like all the other ones I use from Harbor Freight or Walmart. And it came with like the clip to hold it on and some cleaning supplies and a few little odds and ends pieces. Also on the box, this is really sweet uh, tool for cleaning the airbrush. It gets in there, it gets the tip all nice and clean. And it's uh, it's got two different blades on it. That's gonna help out a lot.
and some mixing cups. And we're gonna start with the paint. It's all Createx. So we have Createx Pearl Green. Then we have a transparent base. Haven't used that yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. And we have an opaque white. And a transparent bright red, which is uh, basically a candy or a spectra flame. A transparent violet, so it's gonna be pretty. And this one is a pearlized pineapple. We have a pearlized turquoise. A transparent sand. I don't know what I'll do with that, but it sounds interesting. Then we've got a pearl silver. Just perfect for the bases that I always use. Then we've got an orange, and it's transparent. That'll be real pretty. And we've got a pearl lime. We've got a transparent bright yellow. We've got a pearl satin gold. That'd be a good base. Then we've got a transparent bright blue. We have a transparent dark brown. Probably give it that root beer color over a gold. We've got an opaque black. And we've got a pearlized pearl purple. Got the uh, pearlized magenta. And we've got a pearlized pearl red. We've got a pearlized pearl blue. And then we got a pearl plum. It's another purple. We've got a pearl white. Then we've got the pearlized uh, copper. Then we've got a transparent gray. That's interesting. And a Caribbean blue, transparent. That's so gonna be a lighter blue, I imagine. And then we've got a pearl tangerine. It's gonna be a orange color. We've got a transparent green. And then we've got a couple of uh, airbrush cleaners. Let me know what you guys would like to see painted first. Also, I got excited because I stopped at Walmart and I found this Knight Rider Kit Super Pursuit car. I love Knight Rider. They're the fastest metal cars you've ever seen. Mattel's new Hot Wheels. Collect them by themselves or get them in wild new action sets like the Drag Race action set, the Stunt action set, the Hot Curves race action set. Get Mattel's new Hot Wheels. The fastest metal cars you've ever seen. What's up everybody? This is Diecast Outcast here. We're going to do a challenge for National Red Line Day. May 18th, 1968 was the day that Hot Wheels released the first Red Lines Sweet 16 cars. So I'm going to issue this challenge and all you got to do is either restore or do a custom on a Red Line from 1968 to 1977. You get bonus points if it is a Sweet 16 from 1968, which is what you're seeing here on the screen. 
Rules are simple. Build a red line Hot Wheels. Email me at diecast underscore outcast at yahoo.com so I can keep track of everybody. And if you don't mind, send me any more social media that you have and I will add it to the list of people that is doing the challenge. You can catch me on YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. Stay tuned for updates. This is going to be a fun build. Hope you're ready for the next episode. Hey. Oh!